Okay, folks, here I'm inside After Effects. Now I'm going to go ahead and start um, importing all of the uh, passes that we have rendered uh, from Cinema 4D. So I'm going to uh, select all of these guys and click on Import. And it will uh, ask you to choose the alpha method. We uh, are going to be using straight unmatted. Hit OK and OK for the second time. There we go. Now we have everything here. Now. Uh, this tutorial is basically we're going to be talking about the process of uh, uh, fully multipass rendering. I mean, uh, what does that mean is this is the beauty pass that we have. Uh, let's go ahead and create a composition from this. Now, let me go ahead and uh, really quickly create some uh, background for it, even though it is really low quality, but I'm just going to play along here. Uh, so here is the uh, final render that we have. Uh, this is one uh, final beauty uh, render, now uh, no pass involved. What we are trying to do in multipass rendering is to acquire the exact same render using the different passes that we have rendered out of Cinema 4D. Now why would you do that is basically you need to have an absolute control over your render. For example, if you needed to uh, make sure the reflections uh, increase or decrease them, increase or decrease the amount of uh, refraction or shadows or stuff like that you will simply be able to do that now let me show you how would you do that we have different passes that we need inside cinema 40 and I show you how to uh, select those uh, the next process let me go ahead and create um, a new position based on what we have here I'm gonna start by this diffuse map and create a new composition here now as you can see we are not gonna be able to see anything and that's because our uh, linear workspace uh, isn't enabled. So I'm going to go ahead to File, Project, Setting, and uh, change your depths. First of all, go to the 16-bit and Working Space. I'm going to go ahead and change this to sRGB. So let's go ahead and click on the linear, Linearize Working Space, and then you hit OK. So you can see now we can see the diffuse here. The next thing I want to go ahead and add is the specular. So let's go ahead and add the specular and this is going to be uh, added over our diffuse. The next thing I'm going to go to add the shadows. So let's go ahead, the shadow, as you can see, uh, we need to multiply this over all of the other layers. And the next thing is the uh, refraction. So let's go ahead and add it. I'm going to make sure it is being added. There we go, we're getting closer and finally the reflection and also this need to be added. Now, there we go. This is as simple as this and I'm just going to quickly copy this background and paste it in here and put it up there. Now as you can see we have exactly the same render. Now this one is just one and this one we have these passes that uh, kind of help us to actually go through and have much more control. For example, I can go ahead, for example, to my reflections and look at the reflections here. I can go ahead and uh, reduce the amount of reflection. Look at this. No reflection. These are refractions. And if I go ahead and increase those, you can see I can simply do that. And this is quite nice. I can go ahead and, uh, for example, apply something like a hue and saturation here and go and uh, change the color of my reflections. Look at this uh, absolute control that you have, which is absolutely cool. And you can have a very, very uh, precise control over what you do. Now, this is called the multipass rendering. And I advise and suggest that you always use this method of rendering. Now, uh, we are not, uh, we're not going to be using it in these uh, uh, lessons uh, because uh, we really want to just uh, go over and make the tutorial finish as quickly as possible. As I said, the focus of this premium course was on the fluid simulation and the lighting setup inside Cinema 4D and uh, the compositing process. Uh, uh, we just go over it really quickly in the uh, next lessons, maybe uh, one or two lessons will be, um, uh, you know, uh, enough for the rest of compositing. But I just want to uh, show you how powerful this method 